You know, when I was a kid, I used to read Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. And I remember wanting those kinds of adventures. I wanted to be out in the wildest places, discovering things. I think it's funny that that feeling stuck with me my whole life. I moved out to the Rockies about 20 years ago, but it's just been this year that I've started to explore Montana. The thing I love about Bozeman is that you're really only a couple miles from these totally wild, totally rugged places that seem really far from civilization. So a few years ago, I came up with this idea I called a picnic. And what you do is you get a bunch of friends together, you bike from town to a lake, swim across the lake, climb up a mountain, and then you do it all in reverse. How are you feeling? I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, here's Blackmore right there. Okay. So here's our route. It's hard to see kind of on this map. It is actually. It would make sense to come down Main Street, go up. Bozeman is kind of perfect for a picnic because you can bike from town to Hyalite Reservoir, swim across this beautiful high mountain lake, and then you can hike up Blackmore. I call it a picnic, but it's completely a mental battle. I tried to prepare, I really did. Yeah, Please. seven hours. We've got seven hours before we gotta get up. I'm very unpacked, so. No, those could, those could work, those could work. You might not need You said them. these are the same ones? Very rarely do you sleep at all the night before. The alarm goes off and you have this huge day ahead of you. You get on your bike and you find out that you actually enjoy that 20 mile uphill bike ride in the dark. Yeah, the swim might be the fastest leg. <laughs> and when you get to the lake, uh, you gotta get in. It's intimidating. Swimming across a high mountain lake is scary for anybody. Don't psych yourself out, this is gonna be good. But, you know, it's just a mental obstacle. You know, I think a picnic is about testing yourself. I think it is about finding your limits. But it's also about just getting out of town and going and having an incredible adventure in these mountains right above you. People have crazy lives these days. They never stop moving, they never stop thinking, they never stop talking, they never stop listening or reading. And then you get into these wild places. It's completely different. It's totally quiet. And you're pulled out of your routine. Where to you? That theme. Right back down right now. You know, when you're out there and you're testing yourself, and you're tired and you're hungry and you still have a long ways to go, you're totally in the moment. You're only really thinking about what you're doing and what you have to do next. Every time I've done a picnic, 
before I'm even done, before I'm even back home, I'm wondering myself, where's the next one? There are so many places in Montana where you could do a picnic. I mean, the whole state is full of mountains and lakes. And um, I think it's gonna take a long time for me to find out what's even out my front door.